Come on in everybody and watch how I make this simple, easy week, weekday dish. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick and easy um, dinner for the kids. You know, some of them started, they're out of school, so it's my off day, nothing too drastic, just something simple. They like this orange chicken in the bag. On the side of that, I'm gonna make them some shrimp fried rice to go along with it. So let's get off and pop off into this video. I have my wok, it's heating up, it's very, very hot. I have all of my ingredients here, but of course, you know, I'll go through them one by one as we go along. So the first thing I'm gonna do to this hot wok is I'm gonna add a little pure, 100% pure sesame oil and I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon in here how's everybody doing today I have my shrimps here so to these shrimps I'm just going to add a little salt not too much a little salt and black pepper and I'm going to just give it a quick stir before we drop it like it's hot. We have one still with the tail on. So yeah, with the kids being out for the summer, some days I like to think of little quick dinner ideas. So the wok is hot and we're gonna go ahead on and put our shrimp in here. Right. I'm going to go ahead on and put our shrimps in here, just until they turn pink. I'm going to spread them out so they can cook evenly, just like so. So my next few videos, y'all, that's going to be coming up is going to be easy meals for the kids for the summer, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, it's going to be something. So I'm going to let that cook up in the so turn the see now this process go real fast. I cooked my rice this morning. Um, so my rice is done. I cooked it, rinsed it well, and I put it into the refrigerator. Remember, you don't want to use rice that you just cooked. You want to allow it to sit in the refrigerator so it can, you know, the excess, excess liquid can come up off it. If you cook it as soon as you um, make it, then your rice is going to be gummy. You don't want the contents of the water and your, um, and, you know, on your rice. You want it to be as dry as possible. So that's what we're doing. Cooking these up, which don't take long, just a few minutes. So while we're waiting, I have three eggs right here. And I'm just going to beat up. I'm not going to add any seasoning to it because the oyster sauce, my soy sauce has sodium in it. So I'm not going to add no um, salt to it until again, until I taste it and I, if I feel I need salt, then that's what I'm going to do. This is a little over half a pound of shrimp. Y'all have any fun plans for y'all kids for the summer? The summer done started, y'all. It came around so fast. The school year itself. So if I see it start drying out a little, what I'm going to do is add a little more oil. Now this is just a little vegetable oil. You don't want to use too much sesame oil because a little go a long way. So I'm going to be taking these out in a second. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and take these babies out. I've been having this wok for some years, y'all. It's so good. 
I wanted to get another one, but um, it's, it's my baby. I love this watch. Pull these out because they're going to cook a little more at the end. Not too long. Probably a minute. Okay, now that we got our shrimps out, we're going to go ahead into the same wok and we're going to add our eggs. And we don't want to stir it yet until it forms a nice crust around the end of the edges. This dish comes together in less than 15 minutes, so it's not that hard. I'm going to pull it back like that. And I'm going to add a little of my green onion in here. My mom used to always make this for us when we was little girls. Me and my sisters. And she used to make it so good. I have my awesome photographer Tyler. is in the house today filming his mom. So I'm going to pull it out before it get all the way done. It don't take long. That's my photographer, my oldest son, Tyler. He's the reason all of my videos get up because he do all the editing and, and he puts it up on the internet for me. It's okay if you have a little left in there. I'm going to add a little more oil. And then I'm going to add my chopped onions in it. It's just a little diced onion from a half of an onion, so it's not much. If you don't like it in yours, you go omit it. I like it in mine. For the rice, I use basmati rice. That's the one I like. I'm going to let that fry up while I get this rice out the refrigerator. the rice y'all right here. See it's dry, it's not gummy. This is the rice right here. It's my favorite. These onions smell so good. Now to these onions, I'm going to add a little ginger paste, just a little, like a half a teaspoon. You don't need much. Just a little bit. Can you see it in there? Yep. Thank y'all for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I thank y'all for y'all's support. Then we're going to pull back in with our egg. And you can just dice it up to whatever size you want. Some people like big chunks. So we up to you. It doesn't matter. It's all going down the same way. It's like that. Add my shrimp with his juices back in there. And I'm gonna stir this for about another minute before we add our rice.
Now while this sitting here, when you're doing your fried rice, you're definitely going to need, if you like a little color, you're going to need a little dark soy sauce. This is my favorite soy sauce, but of course you can use any kind you want. And also your sesame oil. And this is the oyster sauce that I use. So your oyster sauce, soy sauce, your dark soy sauce for color, and your sesame oil is a must. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my rice in. And I'm gonna just eyeball it according to my family. How much they gonna eat. I'm going to do about that much, y'all. I'm going to give everything a stir. We just going to have, everything is ready now. We just want this rice to warm up. And we're going to add our sauce to it. And we're going to go one by one. All right, first we're going to go with the sesame oil. We're going to add about a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. We're going to go in with the, with the, Oyster sauce, and you probably want about a good tablespoon of oyster sauce. And remember, all this has sodium in it. And I'll taste it in the end to see if I need to adjust it. Then I'm gonna go in with my seasoned soy sauce. Get a sizzle. And I never measure with these y'all, so I'm not going to even tell you how much I just kind of eyeball it. And with the dark soy sauce, you got to be real careful. So I just want a, about a half a teaspoon. I don't want it too dark, but I do want it with some color. So I'm going to just add that much and see how it's going to look. I'm going to move this to the side. You see how dark it turned? Now if you like light skin rice, you don't have to add this. Add the dark soy sauce, leave it light skin. Now from here, everything is ready, so I turn my wok off. Because I want my shrimps to, um, I don't want them to continue cooking. I'm going to mix it well and then I'm going to go in with the rest of my green onion. Give it a nice toss. Smells amazing, as always. Now, if you buy all of these um, ingredients, I get mine from the local Asian market. If you get all of that, you definitely want to, you wouldn't want to go to takeout no more. You're going to want to make it at home. At home is always better. I'm going to get a little spoon and I'm going to taste it to see where we at. To see if I need to add a little salt or whatever else. Don't need to add, I might add a little more rice. Definitely don't need to add no sodium to this. Because next we're going to prepare to get this orange chicken ready. So when they come in screaming, they're hungry and they're ready to eat. Everything is already ready. Alright. So this don't need nothing else to me. Nothing at all. And 
And it's just that simple, y'all. So this is our shrimp fried rice right here, our homemade shrimp fried rice. Right here. Alright, that's it for the rice. We're gonna let that sit here and cool off while we prepare this orange chicken. So I'll see y'all in one second. Alright everybody, now that we finished our shrimp fried rice over here, we're about to get into this orange chicken. And I'm heating up my skillet here. I got these from Walmart and what they look like is little, they look like little fried pieces of chicken breast and it also come with a, a orange chicken, the, you know, the, um, the juice from orange chicken. Ran some water on the pack so the first thing we're going to do is put a little oil in there, not too much, just about a tablespoon. And let that heat up and get hot. And then dinner is going to be ready on this end. So this, they have the orange chicken. They also have the sweet and sour. And I think, think the general toes. So my kids like the orange chicken. So I'm going to move this all around a little. Ooh, sound like it's ready. And so what I'm going to do is pour the contents of the bag. In here, it's just really just warming it up. I think I should have did both. I bought two bags, so turn my fire up a little. I would. I bought two bags. One on the like it's gonna be enough, so we're gonna go up ahead and open the second bag. pack is somewhere buried in here. There you go. Alright. Oh. Alright y'all. Let this sit here while it kind of thaw out because one bag was out and one bag was in the freezer. So I'll come back and show y'all once it's all browned up and it's all ready for the sauce. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that our chicken and crisp crisp up, I add a little um, bell peppers. I added some red and green bell peppers to it, and it smells so good. So the last step we're gonna do is add our sauce packets. That's the orange chicken sauce packets, and once this heat up, it's ready, y'all. Let me just pull this all over. Getting as much as I can out. I have two packets. Just like that. Now I'm going to give it a toast. Make sure every piece has sauce on it. Smells amazing. If you haven't tried these um, chicken, um, they have the orange chicken, the sweet and sour, and I think the general toes. If you haven't tried them, try them. Bag by Foster's Farm. So yeah, that's it. That's it and that's all, y'all. Just like that. 
So that's how I would then put tonight our orange chicken and our shrimp fried rice. Again, this is our shrimp fried rice. It done cooled off a lot. So I'm just waiting till the kids get ready to eat. I'm not gonna fix a plate yet because they're, they're not ready yet. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all turn y'all notifications on. And I'll see y'all soon.